Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. This is a rehashing of There Are No Superior Martial Arts. There Are Only Superior Martial Artists. Alright, so on my IGTV, I picked on BJJ versus MMA. And we're going to deep dive into that eventually. But for the sake of just this video, just for tonight, this is going to be a short video. It won't be longer than 15, 20 minutes, max 30. I want to talk to you guys about why I did that video before I make any more videos, before I make any other things about martial arts. We have to understand the principle of fighting. Fighting works when two people have a disagreement that turns from a verbal altercation into a physical altercation. Receiving a punch to the face is not like in the movies where you can take one and keep getting up. Now, some of us can't. A lot of us can't. Some of us have a glass jaw going to sleep. All right. Now, for all entertainment purposes, I strongly recommend it if you've never had a martial art lesson in your life that you do not attempt anything that you see me do in these videos. I have been training since I was seven years old. I have been street fighting since I was six years old. Rather you choose to believe that is on you. But let's just say nobody's ever really come back for another round. All right? Now, I want to explain something really, really important about martial arts to you. There are good people who do martial arts. There are bad people who do martial arts. And there are the people in the middle. I skirt closer to the middle than good or bad. All right? I'm not a saint by any means necessary, and you don't have to take my word for it. You see me on a computer screen. You don't know me in real life, and you probably don't want to know me. And that's fine. You have that right. You know, I am not a popular guy here. I have 110 followers, which I thank you. I have 800 and something. We'll, we'll give you the count. We'll give you the count. Just so that I don't seem like a dick or a liar. I currently have 928 followers on Instagram. And I thank you all very much for being here, for giving me the chance to come into your life. Now, let me see if I can go to this bloody TikTok thing. Go to me. Go to me. I have 160 followers on Instagram. And I thank you also very much. I have 110 followers here. And I thank y'all very much. Sorry, that was TikTok. As for Facebook, I don't know how to find my fucking followers. No, so that's a problem. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Oh, you mother dick. Confirm, confirm. Alright, I don't know where to go on my phone to let y'all know how many fracking followers I have. Alright, I don't know what the hell that is. And I don't know what the hell that is. So we're just going to go back to whatever the hell this is. Now, got a little distraction. I'm going to have to answer that one in a minute. However many followers I have on Facebook, none of them have come here. And for the ones who have come here, thank you. And let's get back onto this topic of the principles of fighting, which is why there are no superior martial arts. There are only superior martial artists. See, when you get into a fight, which generally starts with a verbal altercation, which leads to a physical altercation, when you are receiving in of a fist, a forearm, an elbow, a knee, or a foot, the reality is that shit fucking hurts. And in some cases, it can be fatal. And in some cases, it's just going to knock you out, put you to sleep, and you're going to learn a lesson or two of who to run your mouth to. All right? Which you probably should not run your mouth to anyone if you don't know how to fight. You probably shouldn't run your mouth to anyone if you do know how to fight. So that you don't get into verbal altercations that lead to physical altercations. Because the true meaning of martial arts is not to start fights. It is to protect yourself from being hurt in a physical altercation. You will never be able to protect yourself from being hurt in a verbal altercation. Other than ignore it or don't let the verbal altercation go past step one. Okay? And step one would be the disagreement in the first place. Agree to disagree even if you don't like it. You can completely disagree when you're not in striking distance. All right? Now, why do I say that there's no superior martial arts? There's only superior martial artists. Because that's facts. Somebody's always going to be better at you at some martial art or another. Depending on how many martial arts you take. If you only are grounded in Kung Fu, you will be good at Kung Fu. Until someone who has taken 
kung fu longer or has been putting it to the fighting test is better and y'all collide. You could be good at kung fu and come against a guy who knows karate. His karate could outmatch your kung fu because kung fu was first. Karate came from kung fu. It's a long twisted story between China and Japan on that. You guys can go Google it. Do your own damn research. But there are 10,000 forms of each one. Maybe even more. New forms are being created because every time I teach you something that works for me and you, you will teach another student something that works for him and you, but not for me. Understand where that goes. Evolution of martial arts is forever changing. And if you don't know that the evolution of martial arts is forever changing, then you probably don't really know martial arts. All right? Now, I know we all watch shows like Medojo Life and my chat, stuff like that. And I follow those guys because they're fucking awesome and they keep the martial arts legit. They don't follow me. It's cool. I don't care if anybody follows me or not at this point. No. I want to get the truth out there that a lot of people don't understand how martial arts actually work. A lot of people don't understand how fighting actually works. Yet they call themselves martial artists. Yet they call themselves fighters. Well, you can be all that. But just because you fight in the streets and you know martial arts to the world at large... We don't exist. We aren't real martial artists because we don't have a black belt. We don't rock a gi. Well, I'm going to tell you this. This is where I come in on the for real tip. First and foremost, just because I don't wear a gi doesn't mean I don't know kung fu. Just because I don't wear jogging pants when I train. I train in normal clothing. Some people are just poor. Before there were uniforms, people trained in normal clothing. Ancient warriors wore long cloth and trained. Before martial arts had a name, it existed. It was just given a name because there were so many different styles of martial arts. Understand that. Now understand this. When someone is throwing a punch at you, you have a few options. You can block it or you can eat it. Oh, there's another option. You can duck it. Oh, there's another option. Don't get in a fight in the first place. This goes back to that part about don't get into a verbal altercation so you don't get into a physical altercation. And if you get into a physical altercation and you can't fight, someone is going to get hurt or they're going to sleep. I would prefer to be going to sleep versus getting hurt. But once you go to sleep, the person you're fighting could be brutal and they're probably going to choose to kick you while you're down, which means they have no honor or it was adrenaline rush, whatever excuse they want, if I knock you out, I'm not coming nowhere near you. Unless you stop moving. Like, if you stop breathing, then I'm probably going to come somewhere near you to try to resuscitate your ass. You know, because it can't happen. You can kill someone fighting. Not intentionally, but shit does happen. Which goes back to, if you can't fight, keep this thing under your nose and above your chin the fuck shut. It's the best advice anybody will ever give you. Especially a martial artist. If you can't fight, don't run your mouth. If you can fight, don't run your mouth. What are you running your mouth for? You already know you can fight. You don't have to prove anything to anyone except yourself. Which in the end, you really don't have to prove anything. You don't want to go to jail because some dumb buddy said something that you lost your cool and used the techniques that you were taught to fuck someone up. Now, if you're in the UFC, good for you. If you're in one, good for you. If you're in pride, good for you. If you're in havoc, which I don't think exists anymore, good for you. In 1993, there was a 20-year-old man. Excuse me, wasn't even 20 yet. In 1993, I was turning 20. UFC in them was just in the infancy. And I tried to get jobs there. I literally applied online. But what happened was, I didn't apply online per se. I sent them a thing online to get the application and they sent me a letter that said I need to get my weight up. So by the time I got uh, 37, they finally had my weight class, which I was over that weight like I am now. But no one gave me a chance. No one gave me a shot. And this is why you don't know who the fuck I am. But you're going to know who I am because I'm that guy who runs his mouth and can back that shit up on the streets. I don't have to worry about proving it to you. All I can tell you is, it's up to you to believe it. This video, okay, we're, we're making good time. Had to check the time. I'm trying to take all your time up. When you are in a fight, 
if you've watched any of my videos, I've told you the shit that I can do. I've showed you the shit that I can do. And I've also told you, do not attempt it. I would not tell you to attempt it due to the fact that there are some people who don't know reality and watch shit and find out the hard way. When I was five years old, I didn't know reality. William Katz, shout out to the greatest American hero, was one of the TV shows I watched. And because I have curly hair, I thought I was William Katz. Despite the fact that our skin tone is completely different, I had curly hair. Kids don't see color. I jumped off my mom's green maverick. I split my head on a fucking pop bottle. But there's good news. I found out two things. In reality, I can't fly. However, I did fly that day. I flew five feet up, five feet out, and then I had a five foot drop onto a glass Heineken bottle. And then they took me some stitches in my fucking head. So what did you learn from that lesson? Some people don't know reality. Some people still don't know reality even when they get grown. So overstepping is a thing, which could also lead to a verbal altercation, which could also lead to a physical altercation, which could also lead you to the hospital or the morgue. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to make sure you understand a few things about martial arts. One, someone's going to get hit, or someone's going to get kicked, or someone's going to get elbowed, or forearmed, or kneed. And all that equals pain. Understand that. Getting hit hurts. Getting kicked hurts. Getting elbowed hurts. Getting kneed hurts. If you're not down with the pain, then you probably shouldn't start fights. Now, I want to bring this thing to a close because I want to do more martial art videos with actual me doing martial arts in them versus me talking as I'm doing right now. But I'm also in a very foul mood right now and I don't want to keep going on and on and on. Now, We tend to not pay attention to a lot of things that happens in this world. We literally don't pay attention to shit right in front of us. No. If it's like like not on the news, oh, it's it's nothing. If it's not somebody important, oh, it's nothing. If it's not something that, oh, my Instagram is going off, oh, look at my TikTok, oh, yeah. I'm not real big in social media. I'm really stupid with technology. But there's one thing I do know more than most people. I know about fighting. I know how it works. I know how to prevent one. I know how to keep myself alive in a fight. And yeah, the fetal position is great. It protects most of your vital organs and everything until it doesn't. You know, one good kick in the chin while you're in the fetal position and your body's probably going to open right up. Understand one thing. Fighting is something that has been happening since the dawn of time. Much like wrestling. Only difference is when you get into a real fight, you're going to fucking know it. Wrestling. Trained. You learn how to fall. You learn how to communicate while you're in the ring. Spring off the ropes. Routine's pretty much set. You know when you go through that curtain, who's going to win, who's going to lose. If you're supposed to lose tonight, you're going to lose tonight. If you're supposed to lose every fight into the pay-per-view, you're going to lose every fight into the pay-per-view. Us, the audience, spoiler alert, are intrigued. So we're going to watch whether we give a damn or not. And then when the pay-per-view comes, the script could change. You're going to lose the pay-per-view. But you're going to build up to the next pay-per-view. Because drama builds the damn dollars. And dollar signs fill the seats. And the seats bring the wrestlers. Get the picture. Fighting. Same concept. As you all know, you just watched McGregor lose this weekend. You know? happens. I didn't watch shit because I was probably food poisoned from some Chinese food that I ate and I was doubled over for a very long time and didn't get better until like freaking Monday. And then I had a very bad night Monday, which is why this Tuesday throwback is canceled. So before I end this video, I will be doing a complete and total rehashing of there are no superior martial artists, excuse me, there are no superior martial arts. There are only superior martial artists. Now, if you guys don't um, have me on Instagram, then you can find me there, and you can watch that shit. So what I'm going to do with the rehashing is I'm going to nullify all that crap. I'm going to rehash it, 
which means everything that I said, I'm going to try to touch on, I'm going to try to recap on it. So talking about BJJ, talking about MMA, I'm going to talk about those two. And I'm gonna re the reason why I'm going to basically home in on BJJ and MMA is because those are the most popular things of today. Now, you talk about showy martial arts like Wushu and Capoeira, you know, I can touch on them. And I probably will. But the thing about it is, again, as I said, there are no superior martial arts. There are only superior martial artists. And if you are thriving in your field, start learning a new field. I also have to tell you, you know, um, if I'm teaching you a martial art and you are a black belt in karate, I have to teach you from a black belt level in kung fu. I can't teach you day one kung fu shit. It's not going to fucking translate over, you know, which is another thing I hate about the black belt system. I can't train you from a, a beginning level when you've already had experience because I can't untrain the shit that you know to teach you something new, which really isn't going to be new because when you think about it, all martial arts are related. So you're going to have to find a new way to throw a hook versus a hook. Understand that looked exactly the same? Well, here was the difference. Watch my hand. This was this way, and this was this way. See how it faced? See, slow, and now that way. That's the, the minor difference between karate and kung fu. And then there's this for karate, where you close on impact, where, excuse me, that's kung fu. There's this for karate, where you just jab, and there's this for kung fu. This is where you close on impact. So, you understand that there are no superior martial arts. There are only superior martial artists. And when I talked about BJJ, BJJ is not for me. Jiu-Jitsu I know a little bit of. I learned as a child. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu I learned in the Army. If I had to take a bet between Jiu-Jitsu versus Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I will take Jiu-Jitsu any day of the week. Because Jiu-Jitsu has strikes in it. A lot of y'all don't know that because you're really boar hounded on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And that's cool. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But original jujitsu does have stand-up strikes. You know, they just modify it and take it to your ground. Ground jujitsu has a lot of toe holes, a lot of locks, a lot of ankle locks, a lot of arm locks, a lot of Fujiwaras and Yuganagis and shit that I can't spell. But they're there. Wrestling has that exact same shit. So my personal opinion, if I'm going to learn BJJ again, I'm just going to go to a wrestling school. Because wrestling has BJJ in it. But 9 times out of 10, unless you're doing rumble Greek wrestling, you're not going to see us all over each other on the ground. But I can throw a front punch and a front kick and a spinning back fist. All in wrestling, just like martial arts. That being said, I want you guys to think this stuff through before you get involved in anything. Think everything through. And then do what you feel is right for you. For Comfort Ever number 2, I'm James Williams Jr., B, C, and Q. And this video is a lot longer than what I wanted it to be. Thanks.